So I'm sure you've already heard the news where Apple has reached out to Google to perhaps partner up and bring Google's Gemini technology over to the iPhone with the upcoming iOS 18 later this year. Now, with that being said, the jailbreak community took it upon themselves to build what's called Siri Plus. Now, Siri Plus allows you to use ChatGPT or Google's Gemini as your virtual assistant, chatbot assistant for Siri on your iPhone. So you would still use your Siri as you normally would on your iPhone with the same interface, but underneath what's running is Google's Gemini or ChatGPT, whichever option you choose. Now, as I mentioned, Apple is in talks with Google to hopefully bring some of the Gemini tech over to the iPhone to help with Siri and AI integration to iOS 18. So let's go ahead and compare Siri on the iPhone versus Siri Plus on this other device running on the left. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is ask them to identify themselves. So here is the standard Siri. Who are you? All right, so that's Apple Siri Virtual Assistant. Let's ask the actual Siri Plus. Who are you? I am Gemini, a multimodal AI language model developed by Google. So as you can see right there, same Siri interface, but Gemini is running on the left and Apple Siri on the right. So let's go ahead and start with some simple questions, okay? And then I'll get to more complicated questions and tasks here. Let's see if Google Gemini can actually improve Siri down the road if Apple was to integrate this into iOS. So the first question I'm gonna ask is something fairly simple. So the distance of the moon, how far is the moon? Okay, let's ask Gemini here. How far is the moon? The moon is approximately 238,900 miles, 384,400 kilometers from Earth. Okay, so that's pretty simple. They both answered the question in a timely manner. So now let's go ahead and ask, for example, how is wine made? Wine is made by fermenting grape juice. Yeast is added to the grape juice, which converts the sugars in the juice into alcohol. The type of grape used, the climate, and the winemaking process all contribute to the final flavor of the wine. Okay, so Gemini gave us a very specific reply, right? It broke down everything on how wine is made. So let, now let's ask Siri, how is wine made? Opening alcohol consumption in the health app. Mm. Okay. Okay. So we know that Siri does not tell us how wine is made. So we already know that she just opened up the health app when Google Gemini actually gave us an entire breakdown on how wine is made. So now let's go ahead and do something a little more, uh, I guess, advanced. Let's ask Siri to write a poem on Steve Jobs. Write a poem on Steve Jobs. But every Valentine's I see, that isn't stopping you. For humans love to fall in love, it brings them such delight. Sometimes it grows throughout the years, sometimes it's at first sight. It's true. Sometimes. Okay, so this is not a poem on Steve Jobs. This is just a poem. Okay, so let's ask Gemini. Write a poem on Steve Jobs. Steve Jobs, a visionary mind, Apple's founder, one of a kind. With a passion for tech and design, he revolutionized how we connect and align. From the Macintosh to the iPhone's might, his creation shaped our digital light. A leader who dared to dream big, leaving a legacy that will forever live. Okay, so this is a poem specifically on Steve Jobs. So actually, Gemini did answer the question properly this time around. Siri just gave us a standard poem. Uh, Gemini was specific to give us a poem on Steve Jobs. So obviously, if Apple was to integrate some sort of Gemini tech into iOS, we could get better responses if we ask more advanced questions to Siri, which is hopefully what we'll see in the future. So now I want to be more specific. So I want to ask about a celebrity or something like that. So we're going to ask Siri, who is Elon Musk? Here's some information. Okay, so it shows us information in regards to Elon. So let's go ahead and ask a Gemini here. So who is Elon Musk? Elon Musk is a South African born American entrepreneur and businessman who founded X.com in 1999, which later became PayPal, SpaceX in 2002, and Tesla Motors in 2003. Musk became a multimillionaire in his late 20s when he sold his startup company, Zip2, to a division of Compact Computers. 
Okay, so once again, Gemini, in my opinion, giving a more precise, a more detailed reply in regards to Elon Musk, although Siri did show us who the person was, who the celebrity is, and we can read it ourselves, Gemini actually told us the answer that we were looking for better, in my opinion. So now, let's say we want to learn how to make something. So let me go ahead and ask a Gemini how to make mac and cheese, for example. How do I make mac and cheese? Ingredients, one pound elbow macaroni, eight tablespoons, unsalted butter, one quarter cup. All okay, so we get the entire breakdown on how to make mac and cheese there. As you can see, recipe and cook time and everything like that. You can pause the video so you can see the entire list there. I'm not going to let her read the whole thing. But yeah, we got a precise answer from Gemini. Let's ask Siri. How do I make mac and cheese? Okay, I added it. Uh Siri just added mac and cheese to reminders. So there you go. Based on these results, Google Gemini would definitely improve the user experience for Siri and iPhone users down the road if Apple was to integrate this into iOS. Again, this was using Siri Plus, which is a jailbreak tweak found right now available in Cydia and Cilio right now is available. I think it's $5.99. It can do a whole lot more because you can also use the advanced options here and select ChatGPT. Use your own API key in order to use ChatGPT instead of Gemini, but I was using Gemini for the purpose of this video. And I think it's a really cool concept and idea for a jailbreak tweak to test out that Gemini background information that would be provided from Siri if Apple was to integrate this in the future into iOS 18. Let me know what you think about Siri Plus. Would you like Apple to add this Gemini technology to the iPhone with upcoming iOS 18 software updates? Let me know in those comments down below. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.